Welcome to Nokomis for this Class C football homecoming match. Warriors on the kickoff return. Looks like Pelletier weaving his way to close to the 30-yard line where Nokomis will start first and 10. So let's see what the Warriors dial up today. Uh, really off to a great start this season and uh, just a exciting last uh, second score last weekend to give the Warriors the victory. Warriors come out throwing, Haney finds player wide open and he could go all the way. Let's see if we get the number on that. Hanings pass complete to Brock Grays for a Warrior touchdown. Well, I don't think you could draw it up any better than that. Now that's a way to start a game. So play uh, Nokomis really masterful in the extra point game last week as they put the first touchdown through the uprights and Shaw picks up where he left off last week. And of course that big call by Jake Rogers on the uh, touchdown that put the Warriors down one, 14-13 at the end of the game last week and that went for the fake two-point play, which they converted to win that game, 15-14. And here we go, right out of the gates. Nokomis ahead, seven zip. One play, touchdown. Wow. It's hot out, but I think the Warriors are a bit hotter. Got a great day on tap, had a fun day at school yesterday as the uh, athletic, fall athletic teams were introduced to the student body at a rousing pep rally followed up by a bonfire. Uh, really nice dance held at the school, about 250 students in attendance. Um, just a fun night. The field hockey team has gotten the Saturday contest off to a great start with uh, an exciting 1-0 victory over Brewer. And the football team is uh, picking up right where they left off out of the gates with a touchdown. So just like that, Nokomis uh, will kick off. Warriors making the Panthers pay for deferring on the coin toss. Nice uh, kickoff by Shaw, sends the Panther all the way back to the five yard line. Great coverage on the kickoff return. Returns pushed out of bounds, right around the 25. Madabek returns the kickoff to their own 26 yard line where the Panthers will begin first and 10. As the Madomic team was uh, prepping before the game, had an opportunity to see them trotting out of the locker room and I'd say size wise, this looks like a great matchup for the Comes. Warriors, as uh, Coach Rogers has said, is built for speed. Uh, not a, we're not a big team, but we are fast and aggressive and uh, at least size wise, we look like a matchup. Hand off up the middle. And the line of, uh, of course, got some great practice last week. Uh, stuffs that right up, so no gain on the play. Ball carried for a short gain, second and nine. Oceanside. Brain cramping on our opponent last week. Uh, the Mariners, of course, we got a steady diet. Uh, Oceanside with that big old line really hammered uh, at the center of the defensive line. So Madomic trying to pick back up, little cutback move. Gains about six on the play. Be third in a manageable distance. Gain of seven on the play, third and short. Inside handoff up the middle, the line surge is going to give the Panthers the first down. 
gain up two on the play. It's enough for Madomic first down. Madomic uh, quarterback in the shotgun. Players out wide, looks to be a passing play. They uh, opt for the inside handoff from the 24. Severson has some room. Nice gain on first down. Picks up close to five. Severson on the carry. Gain of six on the play. Second and four. Madomic spreading that line a bit to see if they can create some seams in the Warrior defensive line. Able to surge through for a solid pickup. Running back cuts back and surges over center field. Looks like Simmons. Simmons with a gain of seven on the play. Ball spotted at the Nokomis 47 yard line. First down, Madomic. So perhaps Madomic has done a little scouting, see something they like about attacking the middle of that line. Darius Pierpoint. Panther quarterback comes under center. Inside handoff again. Simmons on the carry, gain of seven on the play, second and three. Nose of the ball just over the 40 yard line of the Warriors. Panthers on their first possession, putting together a solid drive. Handoff goes to Severinson, and he just kind of keeps uh, weaving his way through defenders for a gain of about 15. Severson on the carry, pushed out of bounds, gain of 15 on the play. First and 10, Madomic. Maybe I was a little generous on that carry, probably a gain of about 10. 10 of 13, uh, no matter. Panthers moving the ball, a positive yardage each play. Running backs hit at the line and haul down. Severson on the carry, stop up at the line. Gain of two, second down. Happy to see a couple of faces back in the Warrior lineup, uh, notably Alex Castidio. Talented junior for the squad, back in action. I've been Really battling on hip injury. Kind of a horde just uh, mowing their way down close to the 20. Be short of the first down. Gain of five on the play. Second and three, or third and three. Also another new face to the lineup, uh, number seven, John Halliburton. Uh, Joining the team late, able to uh, put his time in according to the training rules, so he was uh, cleared to play this weekend. Hand off to Simmons, he finds a big hole and he dashes into the end zone. Simmons on the carry, touchdown, Madomic. So let's see what the uh, Panthers do for the extra point. It looks like I saw a kicking tee come out, so it looks like they'll go for the kick. Try to tie this game up. So a very uh, methodical drive by the Panthers. They march 75 yards down the field on the run. Kick us through the uprights, and it's good. 
Point after attempt is good. Score is tied at seven. Touchdown, we'll do the kicking honors. These two teams coming in today with a flip-flop record. The Warriors coming in two and one, while the Panthers are one and two. So if Madomica has their way, they'd like to leave this day with uh, mi mirror images. I think if you're the Warriors, you'd like to put a little separation and keep them flip-flop. Penalty flag on the play. Ball's returned to the Nokomis 25-yard line, but there's a flag on the play. Typically on the kickoff, that's some kind of block in the back. If so, Warriors could uh, really be pushed back towards their own end zone. But uh, could be a face mask too. We'll see uh, which directions or what the official signal. Signal. Looks like they're heading back towards the end zone. Penalties on Nokomis, holding 10-yard penalty. Ball spotted at the Nokomis 15. First and 10, Warriors. So Warriors come out with a one-play touchdown, 70-yard 70, 70 play. And uh, Madomic kind of takes a different approach, same distance, same result, where they march down the field. Panette on the carry, gain of six on the play, second and four. Last week, the Warriors predominantly run game, but uh, successfully able to weave in uh, some passes, particularly on their game-winning drive. Started out uh, going to the air. Big hole through the middle. Pelletier on the carry. Gain of seven on the play. It's enough for first and ten, first down for the Warriors. Nokomis having success, just uh, surging through the middle of the line. Briggs on the carry. He's close to an eight-yard gain. Briggs on the carry. He knows six on the play, second and four. So uh, these two teams, it might be a t test of who uh, whose game plan, as they look similar, uh, can execute it better as both teams uh, attacking the middle of each other's lines on their offensive possessions. Kind of a bit of a muff on that handoff. Trying to see who that was uh, handed off to. Uh, Hand off to Briggs. It looked like Haining had a clean, clean snap and almost looked like Briggs just got his cleats stuck in the turf and uh, couldn't take off. Loss on the play. Third and five. So really on either team, the first uh, loss of any yardage on an offensive play. Brock Graves out wide. It looks like Anacomas is gonna take a timeout. Timeout, Warriors. Pitch out wide to Briggs. Briggs trying to dance around the defender. It works up the sideline. Looks like he's going to be pushed out of bounds, shy of the first down. Briggs on the carry, gain of four on the play. The fourth down. Actually, it looks like uh, Briggs uh, stepped out of bounds. Looked like he continued the run, thought he made a little more uh, forward progress. But marked uh, right at the 30-yard line, so it'll be fourth and long. Nokomis sideline yelling punt. Haining will take care of the punting game for the Warriors. Bit of a high snap. Haining hauls it in. Gets off a clean punt. Panthers signal for fair catch where ball will be spotted at their own 37-yard line to start on their second offensive possession. 
punt down at the Madomic 37 yard line, first and 10 Panthers. Madomic comes out, spread offense, Pierre Point in the shotgun. First offensive possession were all drives. They had the spread look, but opted for the inside handoffs, and Nokomis reading that much better second time around and really closing the hole quickly. Short gain on the play, tackle made by Richards, second down. Actually, correct that. I think that was Garrett Burke. Burke, uh, I'm not sure if Burke was out uh, with an injury or just was missed on the lineup last week. I know I pinned him in. Uh, Burke, a solid player for Nokomis, so good to see him in the lineup. And again, that line closing the hole quickly. Nice work uh, up front for the Warriors. Gain of two on the play, stop made by Hopkins. Third and seven. So Nokomis only getting a first down in their second possession. Opportunity here for the home Warriors to stop the Panthers in their second possession with a three and out. Pierre Point under center, pitches back to the running back, surges through the hole. Warriors throw him to the ground, just shy of the 50. Simmons on the carry, stop made by Boyd. Fourth and short for the Panthers. Let's see what uh, Coach Snell calls. He's got a fourth and short close to midfield. Looks like they are in putt formation. High snaps reeled in, flag on the play. Now that could be costly for Nokomis if they jumped off uh, with the fourth and short. Briggs weaving through the defense, he's gonna see him. The sophomore speedster could, he could go all the way. One player left to get him, can't get a hand on him. Briggs in the end zone. Briggs on the touchdown punt return, but there is a flag on the play. So let's hope that some sort of uh, illegal motion on the offensive side of the ball, because if so, uh, not only does that take a touchdown off the board, it would give the Panthers the first down. So let's see uh, the officials huddle, huddle up and see what they're going to call. Correction, that's Pelletier on the run back for the touchdown. It looks like the officials are putting the flag uh, back in their pocket. So that's a good touchdown. So Nokomis has made quick work on the offensive side of the ball, putting points on the board. They've had two scoring drives for a total of one, well really one offensive play and the kickoff return. Shaw back out there for the extra point. Snap is down. Kick is through the uprights. It's 14-7 Warriors with a minute 44 to go in the first quarter. Extra point is good. Warriors fourth. Nice kickoff by Shaw. That's a market improvement in the Warrior game plan. Uh, kickoffs are really pushing back the receiving team, the coverage really containing. So a uh, nice execution on the Warriors. Shaw's kick, fielded at the 10 yard line, will be returned to the 32. Madomic will take over, first down. 
So kind of a complete different feel from last week's game where the two teams really are grinding it out all game for a modest score. And we're, uh, before we're even out of the first quarter, nearing the point total of last week's game. Great defensive stand last time out for the Warriors. Uh, a three and out and then a punt return. <laughs> you can't ask for much more from your team. Inside handoff up the middle of the line. That Nokomis line has figured that out after that first possession. A nice shutdown on that run. Severson on the carry. Tackle made by Burke. Short gain on the play. Second down. Yeah, Garrett. Garrett Burke, a powerful athlete, low to the ground, a smart player, and a great student. Making some really uh, nice defensive stops on that line for the Warriors. I think uh, at least uh, just from last week to this week, I think that unit's coming together again. Another nice stop, a great form tackle. And it looked like Andy Hopkins with the wrap up right around the ankles. Daniels on the carry. Tackle made by Hopkins. Gain of four on the play, third and five. So Nokomis, uh, really just a really quick turnabout, about a minute of time on the clock in the same position again, an opportunity to stop the Panthers, three and out. Pierre Point under center. Inside handoff. The running back is gonna be stuffed right at the line of scrimmage for again, another big stand for the Warrior line. They are setting the tone early today. No gain on the play, stopped by the defensive line. Fourth down, Panthers. And that play will end the first quarter. Warriors on top, 14 to, 14 to seven. So just to give fans an update on the fall sports action, uh, the golf team has really set the bar for the war for Warrior Nation. Our golf team finished their regular season this week 11-0 and uh, crushing the competition. And so now a team's looking at state qualifiers. Actually uh, mentioned it during the field hockey game, but freshman Lindsey Cody is uh, playing today in Pittsfield to qualify. Coach Matt Brown uh, said she was able to watch it through the first round and is on pace to meet the qualifying score. And the boys uh, head to Natanis on Tuesday and should uh, have a number of players qualify. So it should, could be an exciting run for the Warriors out on the links. Panthers come out to uh, start the second quarter with a fourth down punt. The one hopper. Halliburton uh, looks like he is gonna play it and then picks up the bounce. And he's on the fly, he's over the 50, he's still on his feet. And Halliburton in his first play as a warrior gains about 30 yards on the play. Punt returned by Halliburton to the Madomic 40 yard line, first and 10 to Comus. So maybe one of those plays as a coach, you're saying no, 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 and then yes, yes, yes. <laughs> can be uh, you know, a bit tricky to feel those balls when they pop up with the defender right there. If you don't feel it cleanly, you're definitely gonna be in the doghouse with the coach. <laughs> but when uh, you gain 30 yards, it's a high fives and pats on the back. So here we go, hating under center. Inside handoff. And uh, Madomic, sort of like the Warriors on the defensive side, uh, closing up those gaps in the line. Briggs on the carry, stopped up at the Madomic defensive line, no gain on the play, second down. Hating uh, fakes the handoff, a little play action fake, then sees a crease, scampers for about six, slides in right around the 33 yard line, it'll be third down to Comus. Hating on the carry, 
Gain of six on the play, third and four. With this down a distance, I would uh, anticipate it's uh, probably a two down. Obviously, last time I said that, I think I jinxed us, and we got either a big penalty and a sack, so probably should keep those things to myself. We're going to get a chance on a dead ball play. We're going to pan over to the building project. Uh, handoff up through the middle. Panette on the carry, uh, driving towards that 35-yard line or a 30-yard line. I think he's not going to quite make it. Panette on the carry, stop made by Miller. Fourth and short. Again, I'd say right here uh, with the ball spotted at the Madomic 31 yard line. Nokomis uh, ha having uh, fairly good success with positive yardage on each play. Graves, of course, and Madomic's got to be uh, mindful of where Graves is. Graves on the first play under center uh, comes out for touchdown. Hayding rolls out. He's going to keep it himself. Looks to tuck and run, and he dives for the sideline. And I think with that extra ever effort, he is going to be in an official spotting at rated the 30, and that should be enough for a first down. Hayding on the keeper. Dives for the first down marker, and it's enough to give the Warriors first and 10. To Madomic 30 yard line. So a great effort by the junior quarterback, really showing his field awareness of knowing exactly where he needed to get to get that first down. And I think uh, that's a piece of his game we've seen develop, just his poise and patience to uh, allow plays to develop and to read what the options are. Hand off to Pelletier. Pelletier cuts to left, cuts back in the middle for a big gain on the play. A great first down carry by Pelletier. Looks like he's going to take it all the way down to the 15-yard line. Pelletier on the carry, gain of 15 on the play. First down Warriors, ball at the Madomic, 15-yard line. Nokomis on the march again. Got to give a shout out on the field as we can see the big white end and the end zones uh, painted up with Nokomis and Warriors. Bob Rowe, football booster, uh, doing a great job making the field look sharp. I think it's good mojo. We like getting into the end zone. Oh, ball's loose. I think that's a heads up play uh, by Pelletier to dive back on that ball. Could have been a costly turnover. Fumbles recovered by Nokomis, loss of five on the play. Second down, Warriors. I think, uh, when you're, as a coach, those little execution baubles drive you bananas, especially when you're on a, a strong drive and getting in the red zone and then sort of shoot yourself in the foot with that uh, sort of loss, but still second down. Warriors over time, Hayding drops back to pass. Rolls to his right, and he's just surrounded by a host of Panthers, and he's going to go down for another loss on the play. Hating is sacked for a loss. Guess with the sack, we third and long to Comis. That again, I think sometimes they jinx him. Uh, talking about Hating's kind of poison savvy. I think that's one of those you want him to just launch it. You know, avoid the intentional grounding, but just to hung on to it a bit too long. Costly place in the field to lose yardage. The Warriors started at the 15 yard line and now they're at third down on the 28. Haining drops back, finds Halliburton over the middle. Halliburton hangs on to it, pulls it in to get about 10 of the yards back. It's still gonna be fourth and long. Hanning's pass complete to Halliburton. Gain of eight on the play, fourth and long. At this point, I'm not sure what uh, sort of distance Shaw can get on a field goal, but with the ball spotted at the 20 yard line, it would be a 37 yard attempt, which would be a pretty lengthy field goal at the high school level. So Nokomis heads to the line and they're gonna run a fourth down play here. Hating launches it for Graves. Graves is there. Graves with a beautiful catch for a Warrior touchdown. 
Hanning's pass complete for a Warrior touchdown. Just a beautiful timing play uh, by Haining to Graves. Haining threw it to the corner of the end zone and Graves just stuck with his root and ran under it and hauled it in over the shoulder. No way the defender was gonna reach that. And Shaw sends the extra point through the uprights. Warriors tack on another touchdown to push this lead to a two score lead. It's 21-7, Nicomas. So we'll take a pan shot, giving you a game time updates again, showing you a shot across the field of the building project. And we are just amazed daily on the work that they've got done. They've nearly got this ground clear. The corner markers are in for the building. I know, as I said last week, the goal is to get the foundation in before winter. Um, part of Warrior Broadcasting, we've got a drone camera. They're flying it up a couple of times a week over the work site to video it. We're putting that uh, on a YouTube channel. Web uh, link should be coming on the website. It's very cool to watch the progress, and they are just powering away on this site. Uh, so it's it's just it's really been fun to watch things coming together. Shaw getting a lot of action today. Line drive kickoff, it's over the head of the receiver. It's a beautiful punt or kick right down to the seven. Simmons picks it up and he's pinned in and he's gonna be stopped right around the 12 yard line. Beautiful kick by Shaw. Shaw on the kick. Stop made at the Madomic. 15 yard line where the Panthers will take over first and 10. Warriors firing on all cylinders here and an opportunity if they can put up a defensive stand to really pin Madomic in. Pitches out wide. The runner is hit right at the line of scrimmage. Daniels on the carry. Short gain on the play. Second down. Comas sensing an opportunity here. If they shut down Madomic, an opportunity to flip the field uh, on the Panthers and really get right back on the offensive side of the ball. Pass out wide in the flat. Pass is complete, but again, a really great form tackle by the Warriors. Pass is complete, tackle made by Chance Graves. Gain of five on the play, third and four. Really impressed with the uh, two arm tackling of these Warriors. Uh, they're not trying to just bump guys off their feet. They're really grabbing and wrapping them up and hauling them to the get ground to just uh, you know, not have that breakaway run or that runner continue to just power for a couple more yards. A great defense so far. And that runner again is hit at the line. Madomic is going to be stopped short of a fourth down, pinned deep in their own end. They're going to be forced to punt again. Gate up two on the play, fourth and short. Warriors, uh, they smell blood in the water. Halliburton and Pelletier drop back for the punt return. Nick Lincoln hustling off the field. And I think Madomic uh, wanting to take a timeout to make sure they've got their kick coverage set. Panthers drop back to punt. Just about to midfield, 
Pelletier drops back for it, and opts to just let it bounce. Panthers with a nice roll, get a plus 10, but it's still gonna be great starting field position for Nokomis. Simmons punts down at the Warrior 40 yard line where Nokomis will take over with a first down. <laughs> yeah, I know it's hot. <laughs> it's a hot afternoon. Getting a little bit of a breeze up here in the media stand. I think we're all appreciating it. So I don't know what what is going on uh, with the weather, but it's been awesome. Uh, this is the kind of first day of fall I like, 80-something degrees. Warriors with an inside handoff. Panette finds a big hole. He crashes uh, for 20. Panette on the carry, gain of 20 on the play. Tackle made by Pollard. First down, Warriors. Brian Pollard for the Panthers made a touchdown saving tackle of Panette. Otherwise, Panette was off to the races. Comus has had a couple of big game, big plays today. 420, 26 left to go in the first half. Warriors on top, 21-7. We'll take an official's timeout. Or not. But again, Nokomis uh, not happy with the two touchdown lead. They want to see uh, what else they can do here. Of course, uh, Madomic did win the toss, and Nokomis made him pay with a one play touchdown drive, a 70 yard pass play, hating to Brock Graves. So Madomic will get the ball to start the second half. So Nokomis would like to add to that lead. Haining scrambling for his life, able to get away from the pressure initially. And uh, Misses the diving tackle, and he runs out of bounds for a gain of about three. Hating on the carry, gain of three on the play, second and seven. Another injured... Uh, one of the players that we haven't seen in the lineup the last couple of games, David Wilson, the junior for the Warriors, a talented player. I'd like to see him get back. Briggs finds a hole. Briggs for close to 20. He's wrestled to the ground, so Nokomis just starting to uh, gulp up yardage here. Briggs on the carry. Gain of 20 on the play. First down, Warriors. The Warriors are rolling. Credit to the Warrior offensive line. They're creating some huge holes in the line. Again, uh, on these hot afternoons, as you get deeper in the second half and you have to start playing uphill, uh, it's tough. Briggs, actually, those Briggs are Pelletier. Pelletier, they're both about the same size. Pelletier comes all the way to the right, tries to outrun the defense, pushed out of bounds with a short carry. Pelletier with a gain of four on the play, second and six. Pelletier and Briggs, if you didn't see the numbers on their jerseys, uh, they're very difficult to tell apart. Uh, both very fast runners. If they get into open field, they are tough to, tough to track down. I think uh, from what uh, we saw early from Halliburton on the punt return, I think we just might have added another speedster to the stable of running backs. Panette bursts through the middle of the line. He dives to the five yard line. It's gonna be first and goal, Warriors. Inside handoff, line surges for about three hard fought yards. This splits the difference to the goal line. Castillo on the carry. Gain of two on the play, second and goal. Ball spotted at the Madomic four yard line. 
I think as Castillo gets back up to game speed, uh, he's also uh, a solid, rock solid runner. He was, uh, I think, a rising star last season in the second half, or really carved out a place for himself on this team. Inside handoff, and the running back stumbles. I think that's Briggs. Briggs, I'm not sure if he's got the right cleats on. That's the second time today. He's sort of gotten his cleats stuck in the turf. Had a little bit of space uh, to maybe carve out some yards, but loses his footing for no gain on the play. No gain on the play, third and goal. So again, two down territory here for the Warriors. I think uh, Panettes set in the backfield with the success he's had kind of crashing through the middle. Would not be surprised to see him get the handoff here. And he does, right through the middle of the line. Touchdown, Warriors. I don't think I'm ever going to get tired of saying that. That has a nice ring to it. Again, another nice addition to our fall program. A shot of the football, football cheerleaders. Uh, started as a club and really has grown into a solid squad. It's, uh, Carter Shaw set to put it through the uprights, and it's good. Warriors are pushing this out to a three-score lead. It's 28-7 under a... Two minutes to go in the first half. Shaw again, really becoming a weapon for the Warriors here. Deep kickoff all the way to the 10. Nice open field tackle by Halliburton. Simmons uh, looked like he was getting some momentum on the play. Carries it out to the 30, and he's just uh, cut down by Halliburton. Simmons returns the kickoff. To the Madomic 30 yard line, stop made by Halliburton. Madomic desperately needs to put something here before this quarter ends to try to get a little momentum and add some points on the board before this game gets out of hand for them. Panthers have primarily stuck to the ground game. Let's see if they open it up. And we're going to have a Madomic timeout. Madomic's going to stick to the ground game. Severson tripped up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. Severson's on the carry. No gain on the play. Second down. Yeah, Madomics are going to be a little bit careful here if they opt for the pass and uh, stop the clock. They may give Nokomis another uh, opportunity to have the ball, and I think uh, if you're Coach Ryan Snell, uh, that's not something you want to have happen as the Warriors are really building some great momentum here in the first half. Pierre Point uh, fumbles the snap and opts to keep it. He's going to be stopped for a loss. Pierre Point, stop for loss, tackle made by Richards. Timeout, Time Nokomis. Sorry, a bit of a technical difficulty uh, on that last play on that third down play. It was a running play, and the Warriors stopped it up at the line of scrimmage. Coach Rogers uh, trying to work the clock a bit here, using uh, two of his timeouts to stop, stop the clock. So we've got 51.9 to go in the second quarter. And the Panthers are going to be forced to punt to Nokomis. And the Warriors showed last week uh, they have outstanding clock management. So this could really be a dangerous situation for Madomic in the first part of the game to uh, put themselves in a, a really uh, uphill situation if Nokomis is able to uh, get out and do something with this possession. Let's see if the Warriors try to come after this punt. Looks like they're crowding the line. Nearly get to the kick. Able to get it off. Pelletier feels it on the one hopper, heads to the right side, and he pushed out of bounds the 45-yard line. Pelletier on the punt return. 
Stop made by Bowers, first and 10 Warriors. Ball spotted at their own 44 yard line. That's right, no worries. Just don't wanna fling your phone on the <laughs> ground, yeah. Even worse, and I don't wanna break anybody's phone. <laughs> Well, tangled up with cords, a cheerleading squad getting ready for their halftime routine. So here come the Warriors with a spread offense. Haining back in the shotgun. See if we can air it out. We've got two touchdown receptions already. Haining shifts in the pocket, sees an opening. Someone's got him by the shirt tail and hauls him down. Haining on the carry. Tackle made by number 61, Ferrier. Gain of four on the play. Warriors in a hurry up offense. Slow snap. Graves drops back to it. He hoists it. He's got a runner opening and it's just beyond the outstretched arms of that Warrior receiver. And it was Pelletier and he had the defender beat. Pass intended for Pelletier. Incomplete. 52. So we've got a nice $50, 50-50 jackpot. And I get to be the lucky pick, pick person. So again, not sure what happened there. Trying to holding penalty on Nokomis. So uh, with 17 and a little more than 17 to go, 17.3. Let's see what uh, Coach Rogers, if he stays, if he stays aggressive. So a timer, Redmond. The officials are signaling start the clock, but uh, our clock man's on it. Hating again just lays it out there for Graves. Graves uh, gets his hands on it, but it's knocked away. Pass intended for Graves. Broken up by Pollard. Third down. So Nokomis are going for it here, seeing if they can pad it. Haining uh, just getting a little too much under that last pass. Kind of hung up, hung up in the air a little bit too long. I think the play before where he had had Pelletier on the seam uh, just a little bit too long. Panther defensive backs playing back deep in a bit of a prevent defense. They can give up the big yard play and uh, underthrown there. That's uh, still gonna be four ticks on the clock. So we'll see if the Warriors are from this down a distance. I think they should have enough time to run out the clock with a final heave. So they'll try a Hail Mary. So, Madonna probably not sure what Haining's going to do since Haining looks like he's back to punt. Uh, but he's also the quarterback, so he might uh, take a look at the field and see what he thinks he can do. And, uh, Coach Rogers says, let's play it safe and punts it away. And Haining uh, wisely just kicks it out of bounds to run out the time in the first half. Warriors in the driver's seat on this one. It's a 28-7 Nokomis lead over the Madomic Panthers. We'll break the halftime and come back for second half action. I think uh, we'll keep the camera rolling and try to get the cheerleaders uh, with their routine.
And Dominic feels the kickoff. Simmons has got a crease. Whoa. He just runs uh, directly into some warrior out there, and they just kind of meet and smack and drop. Madomic on the kickoff. Kickoff return. Ball spotted at their own 43-yard line. First and 10, Panthers. Mr. Kreider, trainer, Madomic side. Yeah, that is. Where'd Marco? He can move it. We got uh, Nita, the trainer, on the other side of the field. And off in the middle, Madama going back to uh, what they had success with in that very first drive. I think what changed for them, though, is the Warrior defensive line figured it out after that first possession, really closed up those holes. So short gain on the play. It'll be second and long for the Panthers. And off to stand ring. He gallops for 10 to pick up a first down and put the ball on the Warrior side of the field. Stand ring gain of 10 on the play. First down, Panthers. Standering crashes in the line. Short gain on the play. Short gain on the play, second down. Side handoff, great play, defensive play made. Looks like 64, Andy Hopkins with a great tackle for a short loss on the play. Hopkins stops the play for a short loss on the play, third and long. We're going to give a shout out to AD Mark Babin for moving the uh, utility vehicle, the glare, just right in the uh, lens shot of the camera. So hopefully it uh, hasn't messed up your viewing too much. Simmons cuts to the late left. Solid game, but it still leaves the Panthers with a fourth and four. Simmons on the carry, gain of four on the play. It'll be fourth down and four. With the score in this field position, Madomic really in a situation where they've got to go for it. So the Panthers come to the line on fourth down. Fear point under center. Tosses it back to Simmons. Simmons with a big hole, sprints up the middle. Oh, the ball's ripped loose. The ball bouncing around. Fumbled, it looks like Madomic has recovered it for a big gain. Carry the ball is stripped loose. Madomic recovers the fumble. First and 
Ten Panthers. Madomic, super lucky. Uh, we had it for a second. But it was uh, just like a greased watermelon out there. Nobody could get a handle on it. Not sure which player from Adomic uh, really a heads up play because that really could have been a disaster. So instead of a turnover, Panthers first and goal and it's been a while since they've been at this end of the field. If they want to stay alive, uh, they really got to score up this first, uh, first possession. Standring Spinning to the left, gain of about four. Gain of four on the play, second and goal, ball spotted at the six yard line. Like a quarterback keeper. Nice job by the line closing the hole. Gain of two. Third and goal from the four. Panthers opening this drive had a solid kickoff return. Well, marched all the way down inside the five with two plays to go. A little bit of mishandle. The ball's loose. Pierpoint uh, scoops it up and dives. He's going to lose a couple on the play. Again, Madomic with a couple of loose balls on this play. Fortunate to uh, keep possession. Loose ball picked up by Madomic. Short loss on the play. Fourth and goal from the six yard line. So it's awful early to say something like this, but this almost might be the play of the game from Madomic, barring some other kind of disaster. Uh, they're in desperate need of putting some points on the board to stay uh, within reach of the Warriors this afternoon. Fillmore split out wide right. Here point uh, hasn't put the ball in the air much if all. A couple times, but he drops back to pass, floats it into the end zone, and it's swatted away. I think that's Graves just batting it out of the air, and so the ball is going to turn over on downs. A great defensive stand by Nicomas. Pass into the ball, turn over on downs to Nicomas. First and ten, Warriors. Support from the Comus Regional High. The Darlings ice cream truck is here. It's free ice cream for a donation only. So uh, let's uh, let's get the money rolling. Uh, get an ice cream and support your favorite school. Castillo on the carry, gain of nine on the play, second and one. <laughs> Briggs kind of dancing around in the backfield. The hole closes up and he's buried by a host of Panthers. No gain on the play, it'll be third down. No gain on the play, third down.
I think uh, Briggs, a sophomore runner, really starting to get some quality minutes at the varsity level. And I think I'm sure it's a conversation Coach Rogers will have with him about uh, when to run north and south and when to run east and west. Looks like Briggs, uh, they may have given him some forward progress, so the officials are going to measure. Ten fans down here in the quarter of the end zone. Yeah, the utility shed uh, helps support the Comus Warrior Nation. Warrior Nation, uh, Darlin's Ice Cream, offering free ice creams for a donation only. So it's a great day to get an ice cream and uh, make a donation to Warrior Nation. And the Dominic fans, you too, get a free ice cream. So Briggs, uh, all his dancing around in the backfield pays off as he's got enough for a first down. It's like Halliburton on the carry, another positive first down pickup in Nokomis uh, starting to just roll here over this Panther line. Halliburton on the carry, gain of nine on the play, second and short. Great to have Darlings of Bangor here. Uh, they run a great program where they uh, bring their ice cream truck out and the ice cream is free. Uh, just ask folks to make a donation and all the donations uh, come to the school. So an opportunity, uh, so again, another win-win opportunity. You get a nice cool treat on a hot day and support your school. Again, another short gain on the play, but it's enough for a warrior first down. A fake on the on the handoff. Haining rolls to the right. He fakes the pass and keeps it. And he scampers close to a first down. Haining on the carry, close to a first down. But there is a flag on the play. Been a relatively cleanly played game today with uh, very few flags. Uh, that's a big penalty on the Panthers. Hating uh, hit out of bounds right in front of the Madomic bench. Four minutes to go in the third quarter. No score yet in the second half. Madomic opened the quarter with an outstanding drive. He got it all the way down to the Warrior four-yard line, but just could not finish the drive off with points on the boards. So Nakoma starting deep in their own end have uh, pushed it, now pushed it into Madomic territory. That last play, the 10 yard run plus the 15 yards on the penalty, a 25 yard gain on that play. And a loose handoff, ball kind of drops at the line. Players surge for it. Looks like Nokomis able to cover it up. Loose ball on the play. It's recovered by Nokomis, but there's a flag on the play. Penalties on Madomic, encroachment. It's a five yard penalty. Replay, second down. I wonder if perhaps uh, there wasn't a fumble on the play. I bet it was the encroachment maybe jumping over that line too quick and knocking the ball uh, away from the center. So Nokomis, uh, or Nokomis the, the beneficiary here of Madomic, shooting themselves on the foot here. And hopefully uh, it's just a temporary thing. It's been, again, it's been a cleanly played game. Little fake pitch inside handoff comes to the right. Looks like Briggs able to turn the corner. I mean, that's Pelletier. Looks like Pelletier turns the corner. It's a gain of about six for a first down. Pelletier on the carry, gain of six on the play. It's enough for first down. 
Warriors first and 10 at the Badomic 36 yard line. Got to give a shout out to uh, Nicole S. Administrative Assistant, Melissa Leally, for making sure we got hooked up with the Darling's ice cream truck. Tried it a year ago, and it was a cold, rainy spring day for a softball baseball game. We didn't get many ice cream donations, but we've had a massive line. Uh, so, again, just a great great win-win. Give everybody a great cool treat on a hot day. Help us out. As always, uh, it's a total team effort at Nokomis Regional High. I love it. Nokomis al almost becoming unstoppable here in this game. A uh, high percentage of plays kind of now going for a minimum five, six yards at least. Hand off to Halliburton. He ducks under one defender and spins away from another. Nifty move for a Close to a 10 yard gain. Halliburton with a gain of eight on the play. It's a Warrior first down. Again, if folks are watching uh, this game at home, had a opportunity to catch up with Coach Jake Rogers the other day at school, and you know, just he was interviewed on one of the radio stations or talk shows that was online and you know he talked about numbers on a football team football is one of those teams that you really uh, you need numbers and when you can get good numbers it's it creates good momentum because you're able to rest players who are not playing both ways and really build that and so I asked him hey is it too late for someone to join the football team this season um, and he said absolutely not uh, obviously there are you know MPA rules students have to practice so many days first but if you're sitting at home and watching this and you've got a Nokomis Warrior here that was saying is now saying, shoot, I wish I would have joined the team. Please stop down to the office, have them come to the office, have them talk to our athletic director or me. Um, we'll hook them up. Oh, the ball stripped loose here. And Madomic uh, needed that big play, and they've got it. Stripped the ball uh, right from the running back and recover the fumble. Fumble on the play, recovered by Madomic. First and 10, Panthers. So again, as I was saying, uh, if we've got a warrior out there who was maybe thinking about it, uh, definitely join now is an opportunity to uh, get up to speed, uh, you know, maybe at the end of the season, even get into some games. So with 1.44 to go in the third quarter, it's still a 28-7 Nokomis lead and Warriors on the move again. First turnover of the game. Very humble. <laughs> Woo! Pitch back. Panther running back nearly pushed out of bounds, but stays on his feet. Able to get a nice gain on first down. Gain of five on the play, second and five. Warrior Athletics are getting some great press in the last week and just a great article on our golf team on Channel 5. Coach Rogers with some uh, really nice interviews. Uh, always awesome to uh, see our, our teams, our athletes, our staff uh, featured uh, for folks to share in the Warrior love. Running back with a nice stiff arm, comes to the right, tries a spin move, spun around by Briggs. Simmons on the carry, gain of 10 on the play, first down Panthers, stop made by Briggs. Here point with the handoff to Standring. Standring picks up a couple.
Sandring on the carry, stop made by Burke. Gain of three on the play, second and seven. I think it was costly for Madomic, although they're <clears throat> putting together, it's a second, a solid drive of the half, but they haven't been able to get any other additional points on the board, and uh, the problem with their style of play, it's a kind of grind them out, clock-chewing process, and the clock uh, is is not their friend. Uh, we're nearing uh, the end of the third quarter here, maybe the last play, Standring is tackled on the play. Standring on the cat. Carry, tackle made by Lilly. Gain of three on the play, third and four. Should be the, I think that may have been the last play in the third quarter. They see the Panthers trying to rush to the line with a couple of ticks left. So we're gonna close out the third quarter with no score. It's still Nokomis 28, Madomic seven. Panthers with a big third down play, just over the 50. Running back uh, cuts back to the left. He's wrapped up. Gain of one on the play, tackle made by Raul. Fourth and short, Panthers. Adamic going for it here just over midfield. Obviously with the score differential, they've got to get some points on the board. Pitch back, looks like Standring burst through the line and he's got enough for a first down. That shit was Simmons. Simmons on the carry, gain of four, four on the play. It's a first down, Madomic. Obviously, uh, if you're Coach Rogers, you want to get a defensive stand here, but I think it's almost kind of a prevent situation here with the time and score. L let them continue to chip away a couple yards at a time. At this rate, they're going to chew up half of the third or the fourth quarter. Um, not that you ever want to forfeit points. I think at this point, you just don't want to give up that big, quick play for a score. Pierre Point uh, drops back. He's got a receiver wide open and just uh, over him. That receiver was open, but too, uh, too far. Incomplete pass, second down. And I wondered uh, at what point might Ryan Snell, coach of the Madomic Panthers, beer from his game plan to uh, shake it up. You know, at this point, something's going to have to change for Madomic for them to you know, maybe get a big play. You want to look at it one possession at a time. Can they get a big, you know, a big drive here to get a score? To bring it in within a two-score game instead of a three-score game. Hand off through the middle of the line. Simmons is the two or three Warriors draped on his back. He's ridden to the ground close to the 40-yard line. Simmons on the carry. Gain of three on the play, or two on the play, third and seven. Again, things looking up for Nokomis uh, with <coughs> Burke and Pierpoint keeps it himself and he tries to cut through the middle of the line only able to pick up a yard or so before he's cut down. Pierpoint on the carry, tackle made by Hopkins, short gain on the play, fourth and seven. <coughs> so make it a long six or short seven. Comus defense has been able to come up big on these fourth down plays. Pierpoint 
in the shotgun, floats it out wide. He's got a receiver open, makes a sliding catch, but it's going to be short of the first down. The Warriors are going to take over on downs. Pierpoint's pass complete to Simmons. The gain is short of the first down marker, so the Warriors will take over on downs. First and ten. Want to give a shout out, uh, we've added a couple of two nice options for Nakoma students to get involved in the athletic program this fall. We have resurrected our cross country team and have a few athletes running cross country and also have added uh, volleyball, a girls volleyball team. Actually, one of the, it's one of the fastest growing sports in the state. We have a nice uh, complement of girls uh, playing volleyball and I believe they've got a, a small game schedule set up. So. Probably one of our highest percentage uh, of athletes this season in school history. So great to see uh, students out participating in school activities and making good connections with their peers, coaches, uh, and engaging in physical activities. Always a positive. Gain of four on the play. It'll be second and six. Haining rolls to his left, dumps it off underneath the Briggs. Briggs cuts by one receiver. Briggs has got a crease with a nice gain on the pay play. That pass, pass and catch will go for about 15. Haining's pass complete to Briggs, gain of 15 on the play. First down, Nakomis. Warriors with the cushion and the lead uh, and open up their playbook a bit. Haining has had a couple of deep completions. Uh, now finds Briggs on the little underneath route for a solid first down gain. Almost can, uh, you don't only really feel it, but you see it. Nice cutback move. Pelletier with another first down run. He's had a solid game today. Pelletier with a gain of 10 on the play. Just shy of the first down marker. Tackle made by Bowers. Second and short. Tyler Pelletier, the junior, really. Oh, and there's a movement on the Nokomis line, so that's going to get pushed back five. Flag on the play, penalties on Nokomis. It's a false start. We'll move the ball back five yards. Second and five, Warriors. <laughs> so your tongue is so blue. <laughs> oh gosh. So uh, we'll keep our, since I'm on live, yes. Quality control by our office staff, making sure the ice cream is safe. We've, we've gone blue. <laughs> Halliburton loses his helmet, I believe by rule. He's got to come out for one play. It's a gain of four on the play. It'll be third and one. Gain of four on the play, third and short. Okay, uh, just overheard uh, Matt Brown while he's on the camera talking to uh, Jim Letter, the athletic director from MCI, where the girls' state qualifying golf round happened today. Now it looks like Castillo bursting through the line for about seven for a first down carry. Castillo with a gain of five on the play for a first down. Ball spotted at the Madomic 28 yard line. First and 10 Warriors. And I believe, if I overheard correctly, uh, Mr. Leonard says that's the lowest score for a freshman. So uh, uh, 
Shout out to Nokomis Warrior Lindsay Cody, just a month into her at Warrior Athletic career, and she's already uh, making her presence known. I think she's a, na she's a name we're going to hear about on the golf course uh, for the next few years. So, uh, you know, on all fronts, school is off to a great start. Five yards on the play, second and five. So Warriors are content to grind out. Oh, nice cut back by Castidio. He, uh, he's wrestled down at the five. Uh, that player doesn't get him. Obviously, he's in the end zone. Castidio with a gain of 20 on the play. First and goal, Warriors. And uh, it's uh, great to see him back on the field. He's a... Uh, a smart player and a power runner. Oh, low snap, a heads up play. It's picked up. Yeah, I think that was Castillo uh, wisely just scooping that up. Kind of a broken play. Doesn't gain a whole lot, but avoids a loss or at worst a turnover. Second and goal. I actually think it looks like he picked up about a yard. So this beautiful afternoon, Nokomis looking to push their record to three and one this afternoon. Pitch out wide to Pelletier. He cuts it back. Dives into the end zone, but it looks like he's going to be spotted just shy of the goal line. Pelletier with four on the carry. Ball spotted just outside the goal line. Third down, Warriors. See if a Coach Rogers goes a la Tom Brady sneak and lets Haining take it under snap, under, take the snap and... Uh, just sneak over the center. Hand, and Hating does keep it, but he uh, spins off to the right, dives into the end zone for another Warrior touchdown. Hating on the carry for the Comas touchdown. So uh, Coach, Coach Rogers with an outstanding game plan here today and the Warriors executing it. Getting the job done here as it's a 34 uh, pending this kick, potentially 35-7 lead. Shaw, good pressure by the Panthers. Shaw just uh, cool as a cucumber, drills it through the uprights. It's 35-7, Nokomis. Carter Shaw. Had a great day, and you know, and sometimes people overlook the kicker. But I think for all of us Patriots fans, we even learn how key the kicking game is. So Shaw trying to just a little squib kick at the 30. Two Panthers run into each other. And the kickoff's returned to about the 33 yard line. Shaw's kickoff's returned by Bowers to the 33 yard line. Panthers will take over, first and 10. Panthers come out with uh, some fresh players on the field uh, at this point in the game. Uh, obviously, uh, you always want to play the game out, but certainly with a 35-7 score with three and a half to go, probably a foregone conclusion what the outcome of this one's going to be. So uh, Coach Snell uh, opting to give Zach Heseltine, the freshman quarterback, opportunity to get some game experience. Inside handoff. The running back just stays on his feet for a big gain. 
close to a 25-yard carry. Uh, not sure I got the number of that running back, but he just stayed on his feet. And uh, we talked about form tackling. I think that looked like Jacob Guess, another freshman. Guess on the carry, gain of 20 on the play, first down Panthers. So, and I think that uh, was a point we made er earlier and maybe some uh, fresh legs in on the defensive side for the Warriors as well, kind of seeing that called non-form tackling where players just try to jump on people instead of really wrapping them up, hitting them in the hips and hit them in the legs. That running back able to just carry a couple of defenders, give them a piggyback ride for another six or seven yards. Light on the carry, gain of five on the play, second and five, tackle made by Briggs. Two minute mark. Inside handoff. Looks like Standring, nice open field tackle by someone on the left side of the defense. Standring on the carry, gain of three on the play, third and two. So that combination of uh, Standring, Light, Guess a group of freshmen for the Panthers. So are some promising young players. And back just driving behind the line to get the first down. It's a first down from Adamic. Warriors 60 seconds away from their third victory on the season. They'll improve their record to three and one while the Panthers will fall to a one and three record. So another quality uh, victory here for Nokomis. Pitch out wide. Wrapped up. Standing on the carry, tackle made by Hawthorne. Gain of five on the play, second and five. Uh, depending on the play call here, uh, how long this play takes. Likely be the last play of the game as we close, uh, close in on 20 seconds. Standing on the carry, tackle made by Woodard. Your final score today, Nokomis 35, Madomic 7. Fans, don't forget girls soccer in action across the road. Boys soccer kicking off at 4 p.m. Your Warriors will return next two weeks from today on October 7th. Have a great day and thank you for supporting Warrior Athletics.